In this video, I'd like to just briefly explain the different parts of the bead tool window. And we're going to start with the sidebar, which contains the pattern tab and the palette tab. In the pattern tab, you can change the stitch and size of your pattern. And it can also contains the bead list, which basically keeps track of all the beads that are currently in your pattern. Um, the palette tab will let you change the current working palette to what, which, whatever's in the list. And it also gives you a better view of what bead you're actually dealing with. You can also search for a certain bead. So if I wanted a blue bead, all I have to do is type that in and it will show me all the beads that have the word blue in the description. I can also search by DB number. DB 10. So it contains DB 102, 104, it's a pretty good search facility. Next is the quick palette. Basically it's the same thing as this main palette except it's smaller and more convenient so that you don't have to keep switching in between the pattern and palette tabs every time you want to choose a color. It's just a really quick way of choosing a color to draw with. Um, next is the main toolbar. If you ever want to start a new pattern just click the new button and it'll ask you would you like to save the pattern and I don't want to right now. The Browse button will bring up the database browser and it gives you access to all of the patterns you've created and the ones that come with BTool2. Um, it also gives you access to your palettes and uh, layouts, but we'll get into that later in a different video. The Save and Preview buttons will always be disabled if there's nothing in the pattern or if you haven't registered the software yet. Being as though I've registered the software and it's still these save and preview buttons are still disabled that means that there's nothing in the nothing to save or preview so as soon as I put something in there they become available the picture hide and transfer buttons are basically for transferring photos to uh, patterns and I'm gonna make a whole video about that so we won't go into that here the zoom button on Windows is a basically a toggle switch if I want to if I if I usually go zoom to 300 percent then that's what I'll set it at and when I click the button again, it'll go back to normal. And anytime I need to zoom, I'll just click it once and then toggle back. And of course, the undo button undoes whatever I've done to the to the pattern. The drawing toolbar is pretty self-explanatory. I can draw with a pencil. Just pick a color, start drawing freehand. All right. Um, the eraser will let me erase. The selection tool will let me select any part of the pattern and move it around if I want. Or I can copy it and paste it anywhere I want. And to get rid of this selection, all I have to do is click anywhere outside the selection. The dropper tool when I have the dropper tool selected, all I have to do is um, click on one of the beads and that bead will be selected in the bead list. So if I want to select the pink, now the pink is selected in the bead list. This really comes in handy when you when you have a lot of colors in your um, pattern and they're maybe they're so close together you can't really tell. This will help select them. Uh, instead of clicking the dropper tool, you can always right click on the bead and it will select that bead in your list. And of course you can flood fill always works. And I think the rest of them, the rest of the tools are pretty self-explanatory. Got the triangle. And that's just about it. 